Bear with me, you guys. I just got to do one thing. Go here. Go here. I just got to edit the name of the stream. Manage videos. <clears throat> Can you guys join me? Just give me one second. Come on, you, you want to load. There we go. Edit. Now, there we go. Just edit this title. Uh, what the heck? Give me one second, you guys. Battery. Question mark. Save. Alrighty, so that is saved. All right, what's up, you guys? What's up, Hired Thing for being here? I got the wrong, there we go. I got this back on. All right, so what uh, we're gonna do today is, I know the title was wrong, but I just fixed it and I changed the thumbnail for the live stream. I wanna see, because I've been getting a lot of, not, not hatred, but uh, people asking to see if there was actually 21700 cells in the new FlexVolt Advantage battery. So I actually want to check this out to see if this is actually true. Because uh, before I even bought this, I wanted to see if there was, uh, sorry, before I even bought this, uh, I was told by a lot of other YouTube channels that these were 21700 cells. And I've been saying that this is 21700 cells because of that. But I want to find out for myself. I researched online. There is, even on the DeWalt website, there is nothing that says that this is actually a 21700 cell battery. So... I'm, we are going to actually take this apart and see what cells are inside. But first, we're going to take the regular 6 amp hour flex volt uh, battery apart first to see what those cells look like, then compare them to the flex volt advantage. Both of these are 6 amp hour batteries. All right, but as you can see, there is a difference in the way that they actually look. So, one, some people say there's 21,700 cells, and others say that it, there are only 18,650 cells. So, we're going to find out together. And so what's up, Ration? Welcome to the welcome to this live stream. Dustin, this is perfect. I literally just I, I know. The, me too. That's why I want to do this. That's why I want to do this, uh, do do this live. And so yeah. What's up, G? What's up, No Money G? Pirate thing for being here. Love the videos. Thank you, Brian. And so yeah, so it's good. This is nothing special. Uh, I was gonna do a video of this, but I'm like, you know what? Might as well go live with this. And we can see it for ourselves. And as you can see, I have a camera set up right here. So we can actually see what this is like with it without having to move cameras. So it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. Uh, I appreciate taking uh, tech. Yes, it, like that's a, this this channel uh, thrived on getting people's questions answered and also changing the channel as they as they thought was needed. So yeah. So I take I read. I read and respond to every first initial comment, which th those trigger a lot of videos. So that's why I do it, because it, it answers people's questions, and that's what I love doing on this channel. No, it's a, I, I changed the title. I, uh, uh, I forgot to change the title before I went live, so I, I fixed it now. I still have to fix Facebook's title, which I'm really not too worried about, but let's see if I can right now. Uh, let's see. Give me one second, you guys. I'm wondering if I could change this title. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't see the title. Me... I don't see the title there. So uh, Facebook is just going to have to be be like that. Like I sold a ton of them recently, but because I don't know what the DeWalt platform learning. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's why I do this stuff. So we are actually going to, it's going to be a quick live stream. You know, uh, this isn't a tool test or anything like that. I'm, we're just going to see what this what this actually is so actually let's uh get to it 
I'll answer com I'll answer uh, questions and comments along the way. I think this is going to be fun, and of course, I'm going to be using my favorite tool, uh, the exact favorite tool, not not just the brand, but this tool itself, to take the batteries apart. All right, so let's go to this really quick. Now, first, we do have the FlexVolt uh, six amp hour regular battery here. So I think this is only held on by eight screws, which they are uh, secure Allen keys, so I do have the key for it. So let's take these apart and see what these are actually like inside. Now, if it gets more into it than just these eight screws, I think we'll be okay. Oh yeah, uh, 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 let me know how the mic sounds because I actually been tweaking with the mics uh, instead of, uh, because what it was, it was defaulting over at the laptop. So whoever was sitting in front of the laptop was, had the main, uh, the main voice. So yeah, so let me know what, how the mic's doing. No, 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 not all XR batteries have uh, 21700 cells. So but like I said, a lot of people have been asking this, so we're going to take these apart and see what these actually have. And I love taking tools apart. I really do. Because you really learn on how a tool actually is and batteries when you take them apart. And you also learn how to fix them in case... In because uh, obviously I'm voiding warranty right now, so yeah, if this breaks, I'm going to have to fix it. So I'm hoping that this is just a, sort of a three-piece clamshell, like this middle right here. Sorry, like this middle right here is just the main, and these two are just, yep, that's exactly what I thought they were. Alrighty, so am I able to, what do I got to do next? Any other hidden screws? No. There's got to be a hidden screw somewhere for the top to come off. No. No. Maybe those are clamps right there. Those might be clamps. Let's find out. Hoping that these are clamps. No, I just think that they're just a guide. Yeah, it looks like it's one piece. It looks like the top comes off, though. Looks like this part comes off. Yep. Carefully. Or I'll say what AVE says. Carefuling. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's got to be on how it comes apart. Watch, I completely, I got to make sure I don't destroy this piece right here if that's attached, this connection right here. Got to make sure that doesn't come off with this then just destroy the, the circuit. Does it still work? Yep, it still works. All right, but before we get into that a little bit more, let's take this apart. Let's see what's in here. Sorry, I'm not really paying attention to the uh, the chat right now because I'm just uh, concentrating on this because I want to. I don't want to mess up. Keep the screws separate. Careful. Warranty is now gone.
So I'm seriously curious if this has 21700 cells in it. We might be able to tell a difference right off the bat when I take these panels off. There might be a difference, but if not, we'll investigate a little bit more. It's so, oh, yeah, don't touch those together. I wish I could tell without having to. Yep, we're going to have to take this apart. We're going to take it apart. Goody. Got to be very careful. That's that good to see that like that that's just what I was worried about that this was gonna come off with that it was gonna stick to here. Then I just ripped this out. Which that did not happen. Take the spring. Keep the parts separate. Alright, there's gotta be a little bit more to this. I like what they did right here. They completely coated that. That's good. Completely coated. Maybe the bottom comes off too. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Not enough information. I was able to see a little bit of text right there, but that's not enough information to be able to tell what it is. So let's see if we can take the bottom out. I could rest in peace. <laughs> All right, so that looks like it's connected. That looks like it's one piece in the front, so that's not going to bend. Oh, and I don't watch videos on how to do this stuff. I just flat out do it. It's a learning experience. Is that a, is that a, do I have a light out here? Really? I don't have a light? Out of all the flashlights I got, I never have one when I need it. No, that's not a screw in there. Alrighty, so let's take this off of this one. It's got to be the same way. Yeah, it's just held down by adhesive. I'm pretty sure that there's the this curve sort of clicks it in place a little bit. Ooh. See this one had okay. So this one has extra screws in it. Keep those separate. There we go. Still works, yay. There we go. Alrighty, so let's see if we could get any information from anything before we proceed. Dude, like it seriously should say on the battery if it's 21700 cells or 18650 cells. They could put it they, they could put it on the bottom. You know, they can. Or on top. They seriously need to, so people know what they're buying. Oh, uh, let's see. I'll check up on this. I'm sorry for those of you who uh, thought this was a different uh, stream. I just I forgot to change the title. So that has a spring. That's interesting. Why would they have that? Trying to see a slugger. PP slugger. Yeah, see, it doesn't say anything about the battery. 
All right, so that's soldered on. Yeah, that ain't going to come off because that's a complete assembly. All right, so unfortunately for this one, to actually take the cells out, you have to totally disassemble, uh, like take apart this, uh, the soldering areas, the soldered areas, if you will. Darn, it doesn't say anything. Yeah, because so this is soldered in. Now let's, so like all this is soldered in right there. And so, yeah, so it's a little hard to actually, like, take that apart without uh, taking off the sod. Darn! Oh, that's what, they, that's, what that's for. That's to, for the spring loaded for the battery. Duh. Yeah, I can't get any information on this. Because, like, unlike this one, as you can see... They, they hide a little bit more. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's a complete different because on this side, there is no extension like they have on here. Like there is no extension, so it's a, it's a little, it's a little, little different. Now that I have, the, like the batteries are the exact same size. They are the exact same, sorry, they are the exact same size. Nothing, it doesn't say the name brand. They're, they're even the same color. So I've heard, I seriously heard from a couple of YouTube channels before I even bought this that these were 21700 cells. You know, I didn't even, uh, I seriously didn't even buy this before I was told it was 21,700 cells. And so I've been saying it's 21,700 cells since then. So after doing my research, I, I don't see any evidence that this is 21,700 cells. This might, I think these are 18,650 cells. Because there is no size difference. Now that we have the, the body off, you know, and so like there is an extra space for that so now that we actually have the two batteries literally on top of each other they are the exact same size so i i don't have reason to believe that these are 21700 cell batteries so and i'll be right back i am going to show you a dewalt that's guaranteed with 21700 cell batteries give me one second you guys i'm sorry i know it's dead air but two one and I am back alrighty so this battery has 21700 cells in it, okay the 3 amp hour and 4 amp hour battery that looks like this has 21700 cells in it and as you can see there is a major difference in size major difference in size let's put that in the middle and so yeah so there we go so yeah, that's the difference between the two. So I have zero reason to believe that these have 21,700 cells in them. I don't. I'm trying to see if there's like a dis, uh, if there is something that will indicate that it is like or what battery they actually are. I'm trying to see. I wish they would tell you because there's nothing else I can take off that would that wouldn't destroy this everything else is soldered on no other screws no 
nor nothing. Same thing right there. 2019, huh? The year of this says 2019. Package. E, Louisville, 2000. No. Hey, sorry. Sorry, I, I was having it at eye level. So, yeah, I, I have zero reason to believe that these actually are 21700 cell batteries. I don't. I have no reason to believe that now. Now that I took it apart and actually saw the battery itself, you know what? If I have this, we are going to look at 21700 cells. If I have this, it should be the same. Yay! Alrighty, let's take apart a battery that actually does have 21700 cells in it. Warranty is gone. Let's make sure that's in focus. Yeah, we're going to keep these ones over here. I don't think it has anything else besides these four. No reason for it to. And this is model number DCB240. 80 watts. One, two, one more. All right, let's see how easy this actually comes out. Well, fairly easy. It's on by some adhesive, but we can get through that a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I got them all right. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Nothing else is hidden. Just takes a little tiny bit of force. Almost there. And that should be it. Disassemble that. Yeah, those cells are huge. All right, yeah, take, take a look at those cells. Those cells are huge. Those ones are huge compared to these. Yeah, check that out. Yep, so the, it is confirmed that the FlexVolt Advantage uh, batteries do not have 21700 cells of them. And if they do, those are the smallest 21700 cell batteries that I've, that I've seen. So yeah, so it, it, it's confirmed that the FlexVolt Advantage battery does not have 21700 cells in there. Based on how big these batteries are, all right, these are huge. Those are huge. So based on that, these cannot be 21700 cell batteries. Let's actually take this out if I can. Should be able to. Hopefully I don't destroy anything. I really want to take that out. Should be able to, so I just could. And let let me try to take that out really quick. And let's go back to this. I want to try to take the battery indicator off. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty. So let's yeah look at those. Look at those. Not even close. Not even close. By the time that there is one, two, three, four, five batteries on the FlexVolt Advantage, there are three batteries on the 4 amp hour with 21700 cells. 
All right, so yeah, huge difference in batteries. So, so th there you go. There we go. We have confirmed that the FlexVolt Advantage batteries do not have 21700 cells in them. Yeah, so so that's absolutely crazy. So, yeah, uh, we I do not I forgot who told me that they had 21700 cells, which is why I've been saying it, which now I have to apologize and tell you guys I was lying. So, I, but I had to see it for myself in every video that I had the FlexVolt Advantage. I had people telling me that 21 to 700 cells, and some people were saying they were 18650 cells. But now we know uh, there is no way that the FlexVolt Advantage has 21700 cells like the 4 amp hour does. No, no way. This this battery would be as big as a 9 amp hour battery with these with these cells. Now, do they make? Different types of 21700 cells? Maybe. I do not know. I do not know. So, yeah, th but these cannot be 21700 cell batteries, which is, a disappoint which is disappointing because I've been making videos like they were. But that is why we do this, and I, I got to see for myself. I got to see for myself. And I did. And I did. So... And let me take a look, see if anybody, I think, yep, oh, I have everything on the computer. Uh, what's up, Elliot? Thank you for coming in. Uh, the 12 amp hour flexible is supposed to, like, uh, that I believe, the 12 amp hour, and I also, maybe the 9 amp hour flexible, but the flexible advantage, not 21,700 cells. And so, yeah, so as to for, for everyone that was telling me that uh, uh, they are 18650 cells, you are correct. You are correct, and I am wrong. So there you go. But these cells are huge. These, uh, seriously, these cells are really, really big. Let's go back over here. But, yeah, these cells are huge. I mean, there are one, two, three, four, five batteries across there. And across this one, there are one, two, three, four. They're, they're the same same line of batteries. Got to find that spring. And there is an additional battery right there. So they both have five. They both have five batteries uh, across. And there you go. Of course, this one has a this one has a lot more layers, but but yeah. So that's why I believe that this is not. A 12, uh, 21700 cell battery. And I'm, I'm going to have to find that spring. So I just wanted to do this. Uh, hey, what's up, Eva? And so, yeah. So if uh, if I use the Hilti SF2A12, I feel like the drill is loosening, falling off. Comparatively. Yes, well, this is a, this is a screwdriver. Uh, the X, is this the same one? Yes, this is a screwdriver. This is not a drill. Uh, uh, th this is designed like this is capable of doing like eight inch uh, timber locks and six inch spacks and lags. Sorry, six inch uh, by one eighth inch lag and six inch spacks. But this is mainly for like three inch screws or something like that. And so, so yeah, it, it's a powerful tool for what it is, but it is not nearly as powerful as even like uh, a regular drill. You know, like a, just a regular, even a, a weak drill would destroy uh, these. You know, like uh, the 12 volt, the the 12 volt, re, uh, 12 volt regular drill, like a Hilti's 12 volt drill will destroy this because this is designed for extremely light duty stuff. And I just, I just love the design of screwdrivers in general. You know, that's why I have uh, Makita. DeWalt, I need to get Milwaukee, the Milwaukee Fuel. They have one on sale right now, but it's brushed. I think for $80 for the Black Friday sale, but that's brushed. And so, yeah, I got to get the Milwaukee Fuel uh, screwdriver, which that will be coming. Oh, I also have this one. On my, yeah, I, I, I love this tool. I seriously do. It's my, it's my go-to tool. But obviously, I'm a huge tool fan in general, so I, have, I love all my tools, but this... Specific tool is my favorite because it actually is powerful for what what it is, and so yeah. So, all right, let's put these back. Let's put these back together. Now that I, you know, I'm satisfied that these are not 18650 cells, 
I wish I could take these apart more, but I think I'm screwed on that department. I think I'm screwed. Luckily, they still work. So yeah, I'm gonna need to find that spring again, which let's find that really quick. There it was. Got it. All right, so that goes in there. Let's put the four amp hour back together first. Let's switch over to this. Alrighty, so just gotta make sure that that spring goes on like that. And we gotta put the indicator back. And those are the lights, I believe. Yep, those are the lights. So that needs to go back in like that, I think. This is going to be fun. Am I going to have a better time doing it upside down? I'll just put that on there. That's where that goes. There we go. Where's my screwdriver? Come on, you know you want to go in. Yes, you do. You want to go in. Come on. Get you in there. There we go. Good. There we go. Make sure that spring goes in the correct way. And make sure the prongs for the battery to connect to the tool go in the correct way as well. Right now, I think I can put this back the way it was, like that. Put this in there without dropping the top. Alrighty, so that goes in there like that. Come on. There we go. Oh, I think the spring got mislodged, though. Nope. Yay, it works still. It works. Okay, spring works. That works. Do I have a dual? Yes, I have. Do I have a dual tool out here? Yeah, okay. All right, let's put the four screws back. That one didn't go in. There we go. I have my torque set at six. My clutch, sorry. Alrighty, I need a DeWalt tool, which I got right here. Just got the atomic. That works. Fantastic Su success. I put this battery back to its original way. Didn't fry anything out, didn't short circuit anything. Of course I dropped a screw. Why wouldn't I drop a screw? It'll just make things easier if I do. Alrighty, so let's put the advantage back. That's a major disappointment. It, re it really is, you guys, it really is. I was hoping that this would actually be uh, that'll be fine. Oh, the top goes on first. Yeah, hey, let me know if it's still buffering, you guys. Is it still buffering? Is that everything okay?
Okay, got that back in. Got this back in. Fantastic. Thank you very much, dude. That's everything, right? I don't want to mess up in that weight. Black balance for that one. Okay, I think that's I think this is good. I think this is good. All right, let's put this back on. That's a guy, that sucks. I really wish that it was 21700 cells. Four more on here. Well, at least you guys know if you have issues with something or if you just want to clean out your battery because crud got in there, you know how to take it apart for the DeWalt batteries. It's easy, just uh, just a couple of screws. I do not know what this uh, Allen key is. I do not know what size. It might be on the Allen key. Alrighty, that works. Let's make sure that this actually does work. Yes, it does. Was that a sound difference? Oh. I have you so you don't sleep. Hey, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. I have one issue. Maybe that fixed it. There we go. Got it back online. Alrighty, so we successfully put this back in. Sorry, I forgot to plug my laptop in. It was at like 10%. So, but we are back. And let's uh, put the regular flex volt uh, battery in back together. God, that's major disappointing. Majorly disappointed. I feel more guilty about lying to everybody. Oh, yeah, there's 21,700 cells in it, man. Yeah, okay. Terrible. Learned my lesson. I might be wrong. Yeah, it might have 21,700 cells in it, but I don't see proof to where it does have 21,700 cells in it. I, I really don't. I, I don't. I do not see the proof. Man, how do you get this back in? No, it's got to come in from behind. Maybe that. Oh, there it is. Good. Just like that. Perfect. Uh-oh, where's that? Oh, there's the spring. It goes in just like that. Perfect. That works. That goes on like that. One more side to go, then we successfully as disassembled and assembled all three in this stream without messing up. Like I said, I thank you guys for being here. Uh, this actually makes me, uh, uh, increases my confidence to take these apart. Because sometimes I do get nervous, you know, because it's a tool. The tools are expensive. And if, obviously, if you take your tool apart, you're not going to get your warranty.
So sometimes I do get nervous about taking tools apart. But as soon as I get as soon as I get Fest tool, that's gonna be the first thing I do. I'm gonna go live and see what uh because I want I want to get the hammer drill. It's like a six hundred dollar kit for the drill, battery, charger, and a hard case. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I get that is I'm gonna go live and we're gonna take it apart and see what's inside. Will I know what any any of the stuff is? No. But it's gonna be fun to do. And I'll answer comments in a second. Done, let's make sure that this works. Excellent, excellent. All of them work. We didn't break any batteries today. And so, yeah, so this one has 21,700 cells in it. This does not, and this does not. So we learned that today, unless if they redesigned 21,700 cells to be smaller, I don't think they did. So these two have 18,650 cells. Yes, they do. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. I just wanted to go live and do this really quick just to uh, have a little fun with you guys. So you guys were able to see uh, the batteries taken apart live and put back together live. And we had a good time. So, but like, uh, I was just doing a few things around here after I got off of work. And uh, I'm like, you know what? Let's go live with something. And after uh, I uploaded the video this morning, uh, a lot of people were saying in the comments that uh, there are 18650 cells and people were saying there are 21700 cells. And I'm like, you know what? Let's go live and find out. And we did. So these were not 18, uh, tw these were not 21700 cells. And so, yeah, so it, it, it's good. Uh, Bob Sturt, yeah, totally true. I agree with you on that. Brian F., I thank you guys all for being here. And so let me scroll through the comments and see if I got anything. No, uh, uh, I might be wrong uh, on this, but the batteries inside are the same size as 18650 cells. You know, we, we show, I showed you guys the difference between something that does have 21700 cells in it and compared it to something that doesn't have 21700 cells in it. And so the batteries are not the same. They are not. This is just as wide as the Hilti batteries, all right, uh, and the, the Milwaukee uh, high output, all right. So like this is this is Hilti's uh, this is a, a, an adapter, but this is Hilti's battery size, all right. It's just about the same size, all right. So Hilti has twenty one seven hundred cells of them in every battery. Hilti doesn't make batteries anymore with eighteen six fifty cells. They only have twenty one seven hundred cells in it. And so, so yeah, it's that size. You know, this is not the same size. This is a lot bigger. And there we go. It's a lot bigger than the bat than the Dewalt battery. So that just shows me that this does not have 21,700 21, cells in them. Good afternoon, Conroman. Thank you for joining. Robert Casey, Hammer and Chisel should get. Oh, sp speaking of that. I'll show you guys this. I, uh, I got a video coming up. Uh, where, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? There it is. All right, so something I am getting into. All right, I want to get into old antique tools and I want to time them to see in how well these actually work. All right, so it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be good. So I want, I am, this channel is going to get into antique tools and we're going to time them doing, doing them manually. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. And so, yeah, I do not know. I have to do more research on this. I do not know what year this is. My father-in-law gave me this. And so, yeah, I, I, I got to, obviously I got to clean it up and I got to uh, oil what needs to be oiled and it's going to be fun. So I'm probably going to do that live and and yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this. So yeah, so this channel, the future of this channel is also gonna get into antique tools. And I also wanna do segments of like cleaning antique tools up, making them look brand new. 
And so it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. And so, yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, let's, uh, what's the, uh, what do I got? You know, I'll just do, it's like, let's do a versus video. You know, I wonder which one would win. So, yeah, but no, it's going to be, it's going to be good. So to drill, it's going to be interesting to see what it actually takes to drill in a single hole. A single hole. So it's going to be fun. Yes, I need, I need so many other brands. I need Metabo. Thank you, MMA, for asking. I need Metabo. I need more Bosch. I need more skill. I need more Craftsman. Basically, I need more Menards, Lowe's, and uh, Blaine's Farm and Fleet, and Harbor Freight Tools. You know, I've been mainly buying uh, Home Depot stuff, not only, but mainly Home Depot products. You know, I, I really need to get more into the other, uh, the other brands. I really do. I really do. Yeah, AEG versus, you know, like, I think AEG is like uh, Rigid's uh, brand in a different country that TTI also owns. So, yeah. So, a, uh, AEG, yeah. Like, uh, a lot of foreigners actually post, a lot of people from a different country actually post AEG in the Rigid groups. Oh, uh, what's up, Jess? Love your videos. I thank you. I, I thank you, Jess. I thank you very much. I thank all you guys for being here, but we are going to end the stream with this because I just want to do a little video just to show you guys if there is 21700 cells in these and they're not. Hey, what's up, Handy? Uh, make your tools. What do you do for a career? I'm actually a security officer. Uh, I do that full time. This is my, I work two full-time jobs now because this is a full-time job and security is a full-time job. I've been working security for many years, uh, on and off for a couple years, but, uh, but yeah, I love being a security officer. And so, so yeah, but I've dedicated my free time to the channel and the channel's growing and I seriously, I love it. Uh, I do not know what the future is when it comes to uh, my free time. But we'll just hit, we'll go down that road once we actually get there. So, but like, uh, everything's going great. I like, uh, I worked today. I, I only had to work 10 hours today. Sorry, I only had to work four hours today. Uh, then I was able to uh, edit and upload a video right after work and then uh, do a few things around the house, then go live. And so it's, so it's, it's not bad. So yeah, so I do work full-time, two full-time, sorry, two full-time jobs. So it's good. And it, it, it's, I've been doing that for the past like two years. So it's, uh, I'm sort of used to it. So I, I really don't have, sometimes I, I go a little crazy just because like, uh, sometimes I do wish I had a little bit more free time, but I have the urge to do both jobs. I'm over, I've turned into a workaholic in the past couple of years. So yeah, but we're going to end the stream here. I thank you guys very much for tuning in and uh, checking this uh, stream out. Like I said, I'm going to go live a lot more often. And it will just once I get used to it, I, that's, what I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do. And so like, I'm doing it now, and it's great. So I'm going to end the stream right now. So I seriously, uh, plenty of videos coming up, you guys. Uh, I already filmed some. I got to film a little bit more. And we are doing Battle of the Brushless th live this week. I believe, it's gonna be th I believe we're going to continue the Thursday schedule. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I thank you guys so much for coming here. And please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be not notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. I really do hope you guys have a good day, though. And I seriously thank you guys all for coming here and showing your support just by, just by being here. That's what I love the most. Don't forget to press the like button. I agree. Thank you very much, Corneman. And I hope you guys have a good night. Uh, what is the red thing in the battery where I could buy that? Uh, what red thing? Oh, this? Uh, this is Hilti SFD2A12. Uh, this is an $89 tool only, but then you could get uh, you could get this at a Home Depot website, but then you can get batteries and chargers separate, which a battery, a 4 amp hour battery is $50, and a 2.6 amp hour battery is $36, I think. And so, yeah, so like you can get this kit for, from the Home Depot website, uh, if you buy the stuff individually, for like about 160 bucks.
And so, yeah, so that's, uh, so it's good. So it is good. So I, oh, or, uh, yeah, those are just the covers. Uh, I believe my friend told me that they're for discharging the battery during shipping. That's why these actually are on there on the bigger batteries. So yeah, these aren't protectors for the battery. I think these are to help prevent or help discharge the battery. So, all right, you guys, I hope you guys have a good day. Uh, it's time to do some stuff around the house. So I'll see you guys. I'm not going to do that one. I'll